Hey, hey, good day, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed it is. It's a little windy out here, so hopefully the wind ain't going to interfere with us too much here, so you can still hear me. But hey, I went to Canadian Tire and did me a little shop in here. I got some battery cleaner, and uh, we got some battery protection stuff, and we got us a uh, battery uh, pole cleaner right in there. Got us a little bit of a steel brush to clean the battery pulls a little bit so we got our batteries in there we'll pull them out and then uh, we'll clean our batteries real good alrighty guys here we are took my side cover off and all of that good stuff here you can see my batteries I got four batteries what I usually do is I grab my phone and take a few pictures on the cables on uh, what position they were in and stuff like that so you can see it's not too dirty in here because what I did is last week when I was uh, washing the truck I actually washed everything off real nice and clean so because I wanted to do this and wanted the batteries to be a bit cleaner you know <laughs> truck has been kind of starting a little hard lately so I figured I'll clean all the terminals and make sure we got a good connection but Anyways, let's get to it. Okay guys, so the boss is cleaning his wires and his batteries. Yeah, this one's got quite a bit of corrosion on it. Yeah. That green stuff is a good corrosion. I didn't know what that was, he had to tell me. But uh, we're having our friends over. And so, yeah, he sprays it with this spray and that eats the eats the rust away the corrosion corrosion away and uh, and so he's just trying to clean them as best as possible so that's what we're up to today we are not up to too much uh, dad's doing his his um, stuff for his YouTube channel and and not too much today so Anyways, just thought I'd let you guys know what we're up to. Alrighty guys, the big man is done. Look at that, he cleaned it all up and uh, this is the uh, spray foam that goes on there later on. So that protects the uh, connections from corrosion and stuff like that. So uh, we're gonna put the cover back on. Well, first of all, we're gonna put this plate back on here. This plate goes back on here like this and then that uh, goes over there and holds the batteries in place but yeah so let's screw it all together and then uh, we'll see you in a few it's dinner time guys <clears throat> almost forgot yeah we got some chicken wings over here some chicken pizza and some meat lovers over there right mm -hmm. yeah we're having us a good bite to eat that's for sure really good hey you guys see this no trespassing sign up here yeah i went and put that up here today i got both of them up here today that's actually my neighbor's property right there and uh, since he's always complaining about my uh, truck and apu unit they're idling and stuff like that uh, he's always complaining about that to the city i said uh, well i'll tell you what he always does he always comes with his lawnmower and goes right down here two lawnmower wides he always comes up to about here and uh, he thinks that that's his property so uh, I went ahead and uh, ordered a uh, land survey done and here we go I'll show you here in the corner this is where actually the property line is right there and I put another sign up over there so as you can see that pretty much lines it up with that bush right there so if you look along alongside here that pretty much lines up with the sign over there so actually right from from the edge of this bush here that way is actually his land so he shouldn't be on my property lawning with his lawnmower here so I'm gonna put a stop to that if he always wants to go to the city and complain about my APU unit running and stuff like that we're gonna put a stop to uh, him coming on my property I think he wants to do that because he just wants to see what we got in the property here because I mean he's got a fence on that side there so uh, I don't know why he thinks he needs to come on this side here I mean he can't even get into my yard from anywhere over here he has to literally come around the garage over there and come onto my yard here and uh, lawn them with the lawnmower you know and what he also does in winter time he will shuffle 
all of the snow on towards my uh, garage over here so we're gonna put a stop to that if he always just wants to uh, fight we're gonna fight back yeah that's right we're gonna do it the legal way and I asked how we had to do it and they said we had to get our uh, land surveyed and then we have to put up uh, signs saying no trespassing and then we also have to let him know that he's not allowed on my property either so uh, just gonna show you just gonna show you the other sign up here and he always would uh, cut the grass this whole area here and if you actually look this is where the property line goes he should only be cutting this side if he really wants to but yeah we're gonna put a stop to this thing anyways we're gonna go back inside finish putting the truck all back together she runs good everything works so that's fantastic news <laughs> behind me that day is gonna come